Here's the talk headlines for Frico Talks the News on Friday, May 16th. No, not May 16th. Is it May 16th? I'm so confused. No, it's May 15th. That's right. Friday, May 15th, 2020. I am Frico with Frico.com. And this is our top headline. Paying those you paid to watch horror. And before we get to that, I just want to draw something to your attention real quick. And that is some of the places that we get the stories that lead up to the section of the story we're going to cover today is from newsalight.com. The glitz, the odd, the under the radar, the hard to believe news at a glance. If you go there today, you get some of these links. Our number crunching epidemiologist handing out good medicine advice. Seeing the universe through new lenses. Arrest warrants issued for Giants DeAndre Baker and Seahawks Quinton Dunbar following alleged armed robbery. Ultra-long working distance spectroscopy, spectroscopy with 3D printed aspherical micro lenses. Those are just some of the huge stories there on newsalike.com. Let's get back to our story. Paying those you paid to watch horror. Aaron Elder Facebook Settlement. The taking in of truly horrifying videos and posts on the social medias can, at times, be trying for anyone. And we've all experienced unfortunate exposures to videos and images we'd rather unsee. I certainly have come across some things in my Facebook feed through the years that I would not have chosen to see images that to this day still fundamentally bother me to my core. Now, take my experience and multiply it a million times a day, metaphorically speaking, and get paid to watch the pain. That's what social media moderators do every day. And the Facebook version just got a settlement that could raise the cost of watching pain for all the other social media platforms out there as well. And maybe, maybe that's just as well. Now, before we get to read the excerpt here, we have a question before us, which is this. We have quantum safe cryptography. Do we want to keep this or remove this? I say... And since I speak for everyone, and magnanimously and benevolently, of course, I say we keep it, but we change it. Because now we need, a, we need a different iteration for this right now. Yeah. We need to see if we can... Is there a way to twist? No, we can't do that. We're just going to have to make this a little smaller. And we're just going to have to bring you down here. And then we're going to, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to darken that background to the, just, just do that. Yeah, let's just make it that. Let's just, there you go. Uh, There we go. There we go. Let's just do that. Let's just, let's just leave it like that. That's, I think that for some reason, I feel like, This is fitting, and I can't exactly say why. And it could just be uh, a heuristic institutional satisfaction, which is bearing no relevance to the rest of humanity. Or it could be something that a lot of you are feeling as you look at this. And why, as I go along, why this might just float above here. This is like a shield. This is a shield here. This is what I'm trying to come across here, okay? There you go. Artist never shows his work. Well... You do when it's news art. Sometimes you do. You do all kinds of things when it's news art. You don't care. Facebook settles. This is from the Washington Post. Facebook settles class action suit for $52 million with content moderators. Aaron Elder was assigned to the child abuse review team working as a content moderator at Facebook when she realized she needed help. Imagine just... I, I say I'm not even going to repeat the things that I've seen as a non-moderator that came across... Because of maybe I was in groups and, you know, there was periods of time. I don't do Facebook anymore, but uh, there was periods of time when 
people could join you to groups without your consent so you'd find yourself in groups and then you didn't know you were in groups until something came across your feed it was like what the heck is how am i seeing this and then you realize you know you know what i'm talking about the horrors so i can't imagine what these folks have seen so she appealed to her manager to see a counselor to help cope after reviewing a disturbing post Footage of a teenage girl being raped by a group of men in the middle of a field with tall grass. The manager did not have an answer, she said. About a week later, she told her there was a counselor available for her to talk to once a quarter. Once a quarter. Once a quarter. It was very clear that we needed more, much more support than we were receiving, Elder said. That experience led her to join a lawsuit the following year charging that Facebook... Uh, I won't read this part. I'll just say I'll get, get down to here. The case resulted in a first-of-its-kind settlement this week. Facebook agreed to pay $52 million to thousands of U.S. workers who have suffered the psychological consequences of reviewing posts depicting acts of suicide, murder, child abuse, and other disturbing content. And, and I, Fortunately, I've never seen... Well, never mind. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to. Now... Now we're going to the increasing cost of the one-man corpo band. You know what? I'm going to leave this right here. I think I'm going to leave this right here. I think this is still appropriate. You're hanging on quantum safe cryptography. The increasing cost of the one-man corpo band. And dude, no offense, dude. I, I, you know, you're probably not a corpo dude. So nothing. You're just a visual metaphor. But, uh. You're, you're, you're only a visual metaphor in the, in the very, uh, very, very, very direct sense. You're, you're not. It is a human being that does what you do. You're not a metaphor in and of itself. It's just the visual representation of all of that stuff coming out your back. And stuff. And stuff. All right. Let's do this one. The increasing cost of the one-man corpo band. Some one-man bands are entertaining and some are just noise, but some one-man bands will eat you out of house and home, assuring they continue to enjoy the massively high-quality lifestyle they continue to enjoy. Yes, I intentionally used enjoy twice. I wanted to emphasize enjoy. Enjoy. Coronavirus has punched some of this stuff in the face, but on the main... Coronavirus has laid bare the stark contrast and circumstance between those who CEO our lives and those who don't. I don't understand coronavirus is right then. Cause, cause more of uh, black folk are getting in down of coronavirus. It's cause more black folk is stuck be behind enemy lines. Like those are brothers and sisters stuck behind enemy lines. The vast numbers of, uh, I don't know the percentage of, of the black community, such as that is as a whole. It's basically the aggregate of human beings that are black, that are citizens of America for the most part. That's the community. That's what you're really talking about. I don't know what percentage of those uh, live in these uh, inner city hells, but uh, I just more and more in my life as I've gotten older and older, even as a young man, I was I was interested in Jack Kemp in 1996 there was my first republican that i ever liked and i still i remained a democrat until year 2000 so i didn't switch to Repu well i did register for republican 96 but only to vote for jack kemp in the primaries but bob dole bob dole and then he became his running mate so i still didn't vote for bob dole by the way 96 because bob dole but jack kemp wanted to basically shock and awe these communities out of of that hell to free the human beings behind enemy lines and he didn't use those lines but i'm using those lines these are our brothers and sisters our fellow americans that are behind enemy lines that are trapped in these these hells these there, there's so many ways that these bodies that enter into this life are immediately deprived of what they need to fully become what they are. They're no fault of their own, but they, they were born in the circumstance. And we have to end them. We have to stop them. They're, 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 they're nightmares, and it's, we should tolerate them no more. 
I don't know why I'm going on that, on that rant. I think I was trying to make a different point, and I got a little sidetracked. But that's what you do. That's what happens on Preco Talks the News. But oh, I was talking about the coronavirus. Uh, why? Why? Oh, why? Why more black people are getting it? And why more black people are dying? It's because in in disproportionate number of folks from this particular community, the aggregate of people that are black, that are Americans on the most part, uh, that community is disproportionately behind enemy lines. And there are white people behind enemy lines too. There are Mexicans. There are all kinds of human beings behind enemy lines, so to speak. These these perpetuations of poverty that immediately grind human bodies down because human bodies, even if they're all getting quote unquote food, you know, are nobody starving in America? You know, I'm having a lot more health issues right now during coronavirus because. Some of our stock ups, a lot of what we're eating is processed stuff. It's one of my thoughts is after coronavirus we're working on, we have to have a, a healthier storehouse because it's doing stuff to me. This is what communities in, in these ghettos get. They get processed food garbage. And so their bodies are immediately suffering deficiencies, let alone the stresses of the of the unstable and, and and significantly less secure circumstances that they find themselves in daily. These are these are war zones. These are war zones. And only the most incredible or the most fortunate. And you have to have incredible amounts of high levels of intelligence coupled with high levels of discipline. High levels of intelligence in and of itself is not gonna get you out. Uh, these war zones or you have to have some incredible physical or musical some gift you have to be a good football player a good singer you you could you, if you have an excellent business acumen you're 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 less likely to succeed than if you have a high physical acumen you, if you have a a higher business acumen whatever that is you still have significant hurdles to overcome before you ever get to the point where you begin to understand that you have that high business acumen. You most likely you you won't even get to the point in in the in the in, to have a space in your life where you can discover that. So, why does coronavirus kill more black people? Because more black people are behind enemy lines. That's why. That's that simple. It's not racism, although. Racism is why they're behind enemy lines, and the racism is is well. Let's just say it's 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 both left and right that are still participating in this systemic racism. But uh, I'll get into that in other shows, and I've already gotten to some degree into that. But I got more to say about that as a you know, Frico talks the news until they until they turn off the signal. I keep talking like this. It ain't gonna be long, but I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm doing it. All right, here we are. Uh, excerpt from Bloomberg.com. CEO pay up 940% paces its coronavirus reckoning. Bloomberg. The figures are stark. Inflation adjusted pay for chief executives at the largest U.S. Co US companies climbed 940% between 1978 and 2018, the Economic Policy Institute found, using the more conservative of the two methodologies in a whatever. This is... This is it. Remember, this is inflation adjusted. OK, this is inflation adjusted. This is, oh, by the way, quantum safe cryptography for this story is still going to survive because it's still this quantum safe cryptography is what kills their ability to do this, to continue to do things like this. Don't tell me there 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 is no human. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say this to you. Unless if you produce a digital product that somehow everybody send you massive amounts of money, you just did it by yourself and you're making a bazillion dollars a year. I don't really think anybody's worth a bazillion dollars a year. I'm not for laws at all that 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 put any kind of artificial caps. I mean, ideally, I would like to see 
the e emergent natural caps that we find in general well it's really difficult for anyone to accrue wealth beyond a certain point because of the reality of power not because of the reality of laws and regulations but that's another story but anyway the, 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 this, this is inflation adjusted. Inflation adjusted. So this 940% that, 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 that we live in a system in which these human beings, they didn't produce a digital product that didn't require a whole bunch of inputs and moving parts and whatnot. They, they literally just tell people for the most part what to do. They literally have meetings with people and tell people what to do. And for that, it is viewed that their input into that universe is worth millions upon millions of dollars. And even during downtimes, even when, when they get bailed out, they still pay their CEOs, their bonuses and all that. They still end up better. There's now there's allegedly they're going to stop it. But I, listen, the CEOs will get their 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 pounds of flesh because we have a system that well, fundamentally says it's OK. But there is a reckoning. I'm telling you, there's a reckoning. And this is this is the left's This is the truth that the left benefit from. It benefits from it's harder and harder for the right to deny this truth. It's just, just far and far more difficult for them to keep keep defending this. This is definitely how the left gets people to say, hey, oh wait, that law will might end up getting my neighbor killed? Well, you know, my neighbor probably my neighbor supports the Republicans, so that means that they're evil because look at this, they're telling me how I mean this is obvious. Anybody that looks at the I look at this, I'm like, how could you people be for continuing to protect these CEOs from whatever it is that's enabling them to do this. How, how are you for protecting them? And now then the left solutions are, we'll write more laws, we'll add more layers of bureaucracy, we'll give the government the central power, the ultimate monopoly in the land, the monopoly that makes all the other monopolies possible, will give them even more control over our lives more broadly than anything that we tell you initially. If we tell you we want one t if we tell you we want one inch of your life, we're taking a foot. At least minimal taking a foot. I know give them an inch will take a mile. I was being nice. I said foot. I didn't go to mile. Didn't I wasn't that hyperbolic. I'm a little hyperbolic, but not that. Alright. So I'm not going to read the rest of this. I just wanted you to make note of that. That's more one of those things in passing. Let's see. Hugh Miles scuttles into the evolutionary what the freak jungle. I'm sorry. You're going now. Didn't survive. We'll see what happens next week. Because we've got Hugh Mouse. Hugh Mouse. You know what? I think we've already, you know what? It's, it's weird. It, just as I put it down, I'm like I find something worthy. Something worthy. Okay, we're going to make you, we're going to make you, we're going to make you blue. Going to make you blue. I'm going to make the background here. Got the background going on. Going to make the background white. We're going to do a little, uh, let's say... Do a little space, do a little of this, this, do a little this, this, do a little this. Yeah, yeah, I think that uh, that's where we're at. And then we put you up right there. And we just, uh, we just put you at the corner down here. There we go. Nice and nice, nice. There we go. I think that, uh, I think that's justified, ladies and gentlemen, and days. I think you will all agree with this. Hugh Mouse scuttles into the evolutionary what the freak jungle. Hugh Mouse is here. Well, an embryo missing human and mouse is here. And hey, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump from Men Better Pig coming into being for the reals. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm, yes. And I, for one, welcome. Welcome our Men Bear Pig overlords. Even if they're just few mouses for now. 
This is an excerpt, an excerpt from sciencenews.org. I don't know why I choose my accent when I do, I just do them. You love them, you love them. I get lots of fan mails. I get no fan mails. Excerpt from sciencenews.org. New hybrid embryos are the most thorough mixing of humans and mice yet. Scientists have made embryos that are a lot mouse and a little bit human. With a little help, human stem cells can knit themselves into growing mouse embryos, populating the developing liver, heart, retina, and blood, researchers report. In May 13th edition of Science Advances, finicky human cells don't tend to grow well in other animals, but in one of the new mouse embryos, 4% of its cells were human. The most thorough mixing between human and mouse yet. Yay! Right, wait, yay? That level of integration is quite striking to me, says Juan Castro. It's, it, it's Besua. It's Besua. It's Besua. Oh, my. I don't really care about your last name. Screw that. But listen, this. You didn't even make it, human mouse, out of your own story. That's sad. That is really sad. Uh, hold on. We got to do this up. I think that's good. It's Pitsua. It's Pitsua. It's Pitsua. It's Pitsua. Listen, it's Pessoa. I am definitely going to be... In, well, I won't say definitely, but I will make note of that name because that could be one of the characters that emerges from Paul Gordon Collier's head. Like Frico and all the rest. I can definitely see an It's Pessoa in, 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 in the PGC future. And I, Frico, if such a thing occurs, I approve. I approve the emergence of It's Pessoa within... PGC conglomerate. If other scientists can replicate the fi findings, it potentially represents a major advance, says It's Basua Belmonte, who was not involved in the study. I don't care if you were. Your name sells it for me. If I see the person's name, It's Basua, that's instant credibility to me. I love that name. I don't know your personage. But I, I would say that your name, it's Pessoa, is, is, is almost perfection. I think you all agree with that. That's, that's probably going to last for a bit. Because that could have a lot of broad stuff. So it's Pessoa. You could see your name with a lot of, of uh, stuff. In the, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So this has been the uh, headlines feature. Thank you for watching. Go to uh, Frico. Oh, I forgot to do a little promo at the end here. Yeah, we'll do that. Get Frico's Daily Freaks. Just enter your email and click subscribe. Go to Frico.com. You see stuff like this. You click subscribe or just say to yourself, submit instead of subscribe. That way, psychologically, you're submitting to my authority. And and I can still pretend that I'm you know, consensual in nature, but I'll still build an army of, of drones that will follow my every command. And I'm letting you know in advance. Okay? All right. Great. Also go to Frico.com slash daily.